بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولاه ما بعد ما جي بزن سيسر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I will share one beautiful hadith with you that I've been thinking about for a long time and this was the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when Mu'adh ibn Jabal was leaving towards Yemen and Mu'adh didn't know if he would come back and see the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam again after that time so this was the farewell advice that he gave him and perhaps some of the most significant advice Mu'adh had received from the Messenger of Allah. And he told Mu'adh three simple things. He told him, fear Allah wherever you are, follow up a bad deed with a good one and it will wipe it out, and treat the people with the best of manners. Sometimes we get so engulfed by more complex and technical issues that we forget about the basics. So here the Messenger of Allah وسلم, makes Islam very, very easy and very basic. And this is the Islam that we need to go back to. That before we get into the more complex matters, let us go back to the very simple issues of having taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every time we do a bad deed, seek Allah's forgiveness and follow it up with a good deed and it will wipe it out. And here's the important one, treating people with the best of manners. In our day and age, this is something that is overlooked. Each and every person lives for themselves, works for themselves, spends on themselves. But this was not the characteristics that Islam brought. So we need to be more considerate of each other. We need to be more involved in each other's lives in terms of what type of khair we bring to one another. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, told us that we won't truly believe till we love for one another what we love for our own selves. So try to make this day a day where at least you do one good deed for one of your brothers without him even asking for it. Perhaps buy him a gift, treat him out to lunch. No, just do something nice, even if it's just a smile in his face, purely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.